Hello everyone. In the previous session, you had seen some small Linux command. In this session as well, you're going to see some more Linux command. So the first command you're going to see is uh, echo command. Well, with the help of echo, you can display any message uh, you are printing in the terminal. So if I type hello everyone, it is going to be printed in the terminal. It will display it. See, okay. The next thing you can do with the echo is you can send this message to a text file like this echo hello everyone i am new to with me if i do this and i can send it with the help of this greater sign symbol with a to a file file uh with a meter text maybe this is okay to me so if i send it you see that whole oh, hello everyone i am new to udemy it has been sent to the udemy.txt okay if you want to see that the text is being there in the udemy text you just need to open the file and folder i'm sorry go to the open folder and here is uh, if you type udemy you see udemy.txt if you open it you will see the same message has been printed right now this is a very longer procedure i mean it's like you go file and folder and then check the udemy.txt and open it it's a time consuming process what you can do there is another command to check whatever the uh, content is there in the file you can check with the help of a command known as cat command the cat command is used to see the internal content of any file so it will see it will give you the glimpse of any file so if i write cat and then simply write udemy and open see you can you can display that message in the in the terminal itself it is not going to be like one line it can tell you i mean it can, it will display all the lines i mean if i go for cddc i'm sorry cd slash etc i'm so sorry and now if i do cat password you can see that whole thing is being pr provided over here with the help of cat command you can do that right uh the next command you can use like if you if you do not remember what commands you had uh, typed in the terminal you can simply type history it will tell you all the commands that you had previously typed in the in the terminal window right this is a very cool stuff here in the uh, terminal so the uh, next command is you can use uh, something called as head and tail if you want to see only the small section of content of a file so if i have a very big file like this cd etc is a uh, if i if i go like uh, in etc i have a password file so if i if i use like a cat command and if i do like it will show you everything but if you do not want to see each and every line here uh, you want to see only 10 or 15 lines you can use head command you can see that it will show you the uh, small section of a file only small section small content only uh, from the upper part okay from the very upper from the very beginning it will show you okay not from the tail part if you want to see the uh, lower portion of the content so what you can do is you can type tail password so it will it will it will display the uh, content from the very below okay from the very very be below it will show you the content and the head will show you from the very beginning likewise okay you can also give the number of line here so if you type head dash uh, dash help it will tell you that with the help of dash n you can give the numbers there how many line uh, you want to print so if i give like head dash n and provide like 20 and password so it will it will it will this is like 20 lines from the p ps password file okay so in the same way you can do for tail command tail dash uh, dash n so two and password so only two lines will be printed all right so it, this is head and tail now there is a variety of uh, other thing you can do with the help of echo so if i do like echo and if you want to create a file like file 1 to 20 what you can do is file and the curly braces 1 going to be like maybe like 3 dot uh, txt so it will create a file like file dot file 1 dot txt file 2 dot txt file 3 dot txt and so on so you can see right in the same way i can do with the help of abc not only 1 to 3 but i can do like a uh, to c and if i do like txt it will create a file file a, a dot a uh, sorry uh, a dot txt b dot txt c dot txt and so on right in the same way if i write like a file there like here if i if i type file then it will create file a file b file c and so on if you want to create a, a mixture of a file like uh, like this echo uh, file and there is a mixture um, a comma b and then a mixture of um, 
maybe one comma two. So the file is going to be created as like file a one dot txt, file a two dot txt, uh, maybe file b one dot txt, b two dot txt, and so on. You can see here file a one dot txt, a two dot txt, b one dot txt, and b two dot txt likewise. I think there is some mistake that I had provided. That's why file only file is been printed over here, but uh, I can delete this. Uh, here, this is the command. Uh, another thing you can do with the echo command is you can print the command. So if I if I type like echo and percentage user, so it will, it will print the the current user if I type that. So I, I'm a root user. That's why it had printed the root. The same thing I can do like echo and if I type home, so it will print the working directory. Or I mean the home directory for me. So you can see I am in the root directory right now and you can also check that with the help of pwd command. So print working directory, right? Uh, you can also do like echo um, maybe the path on the current path. Uh, so it will print the path for me, right? So in the same way you can do like uh, maybe uh, you can like you can type like this. Echo today is uh, percentage and then date uh, plus percentage. Yeah, I hope that work and uh, it will oh, I think I had done some mistake again there's no blank spaces uh, date command is not working with this I think uh, maybe oh yeah so that's the problem here so you can see it will print you go today is Tuesday 20th October and the time and so on so percentage is I think that I had done some mistake there, but this is a small section of Linux command, like uh, you can do that. Now